heart disease is one of the commonest ailments affecting the human kind in the world today it is said that nearly 35% of the deaths all over the world are due to heart disease among heart disease high blood pressure is of course the commonest and uh, next comes so called heart attack or uh, in medical terms we call atherosclerotic heart disease wherein the there is a blockage of blood vessels uh, producing damage to the heart or heart attack then of course uh, in children especially there is a small group which is what we call rheumatic heart disease where the valves get affected and produce the valve narrowing or leakage of the valve of course there is a small portion who right from birth that means in the womb itself they are born with some defects in the heart we call them as congenital heart disease high blood pressure is a commonest problem and uh, unfortunately what happens unless the complication sets in most of them remain asymptomatic without symptoms there is a common uh, notion that if somebody is short tempered or somebody has giddiness or somebody has headache then only he has hypertension this is not true only 10% of the people with high blood pressure do have these symptoms 90% will not have any symptoms and they develop symptoms only when there is a complication so the only way to know whether a person has high blood pressure or not is by regularly checking the blood pressure the blood pressure being more common high blood pressure is being more common uh, after the age of 40 we advise that every person above the age of 40 should get his blood pressure checked at least every 6 months uh, make sure that we detect the high blood pressure early and take corrective action a well controlled high blood pressure can lead a person to lead a normal life uh, it doesn't really affect uh, his uh, well being so it is important that we detect high blood pressure early treat it adequately thereby you can expect a normal life and a normal life span other major problem is heart attacks uh, again this is very common above the age of 40 indians especially have a major problem uh, it is now considered that uh, highest incidence of heart attacks happen in india there are two main reasons uh, for increased incidence of heart attacks one is uh, diabetes mellitus that is high sugar indians are prone for diabetes mellitus there is a very high percentage of uh, population who are diabetic in the india uh, so di- <coughs> diabetes most often leads to blockage of blood vessels and produces heart attack another cause for the high incidence of heart attack is tobacco usage again it has been shown compared to western world the tobacco usage is increasing in india what is also more alarming is that uh, the as per who the tobacco usage is happening at a much earlier age compared to say two decades back or three decades back and uh, WHO statistics indicate that children uh, in the middle school age group start smoking now and there is a well documented evidence saying that longer a person uses tobacco higher the incidence of heart problem so much so if i see a young person with a heart attack unless proved otherwise i believe that he is a tobacco user Uh, there is a very high association of tobacco usage and uh, heart attack in the younger age group other cause for increase in heart attack cause are high blood pressure high cholesterol and the sedentary habits being overweight again this is also becoming a worldwide problem 
uh, compared to say two decades or three decades back, you see now more people are overweight uh, compared to earlier days. Uh, it is because of our lifestyle, both in terms of the diet that we have and also our exercise pattern. Uh, we are now more sedentary compared to uh, people who were you know, three decades earlier. Uh, that is a major problem we are facing. And because of sedentary habit, all this, you know, they become overweight. And with overweight, the blood pressure goes up. They are more prone for diabetes, high cholesterol, and all these lead to high incidence of heart attack. There is a small group of people who have a very strong family history, a genetic component to the atherosclerotic disease, but that is a small percentage. Most of this, that is diabetes, that is high sugar, tobacco usage, high blood pressure, obesity and sedentary habits, what we call our preventable or reversible risk factors. Now among the three, among all these risk factors, the three both, I mean diabetes mellitus, high blood pressure and high cholesterol or we call silent killers because all these three can remain or go undetected for a long time before they cause the damage. If uh, unfortunately you develop heart problem, there are methods now for early detection. Of course, one of the common symptoms is chest discomfort on walking or exercise. And then of course, if there is suspicion, we take an electrocardiogram and do an echocardiogram which will tell us whether there is any damage to the heart muscle. And then we do what we call treadmill or exercise test. There are various types. It could be a treadmill test with an ECG or there is something called radionucleate stress study. Uh, there is a stress echocardiogram. Various kinds of stresses are done to see whether there is any decreased blood supply to the heart. If any of these tests indicate or the symptoms indicate, then of course we do an angiogram wherein we pass a small tube uh, through one of the blood vessels either in the groin or in the wrist and uh, you know take a picture to see whether there is any blockage. Now if there are blockages, of course there are three options. Uh, if it is mild or whether it is a small blood vessel where the damage is not going to be significant, we say continue medical treatment. If one or two major blood vessels are blocked, we may advise the angioplasty where we may put in a balloon and we put in a metal strut called stent. Now, of course, we have what we call drug coated balloon which prevents re narrowing. Or if there are multiple blockages, or if it's a diabetic with uh, diffuse disease, multiple blockages, or technically it is difficult to do angioplasty, such patients we may ask for undergo surgery. So, more important, we would like to emphasize that it is preventable. Majority of the heart attacks can be prevented if we take preventive action and come I and mean, get a regular checkup done. Uh, with that, I think we can save a lot of patients, a lot of people. And uh, unfortunately, now in India, heart attacks affect a person in the most productive stage uh, in terms of social family as well. And so it is imperative that we take corrective action, preventive action to see that heart attacks can be prevented.